Hey everyone, what's up? This is a Blue Shoes Productions tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to record video games off of any video game console. This works on VHS players and DVD players too, but just be careful, don't break the copyright rules if you do VHS or DVD. But So basically I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I use the Dazzle DVC-170, I'll get into all that later, but basically you won't see these uh, black lines in the TV. You can actually record it have good quality if you've seen my other videos. So, uh, that's basically what I'm going to show you. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so next you're going to need, or first I guess you're going to need your actual console, which I happen to be using Xbox 360, original Xbox works as well, and we just do PS2, PS3, everything. So, that's the real first thing you're going to need. Alright, next you're going to need your recording device. I use the Dazzle DVC-170, as you can see right there. Um, I got mine at Best Buy in the Dazzle Video Creator Platinum Pack. I highly suggest that it works really well, and I think you should definitely try that one out. Next, you're going to need to buy some RC cables, or RCA cables doesn't really make a difference. You're going to need those for the uh, output, video, coming, and audio coming to your external capture card. Alright, so now that you have all your supplies, you have your RC or RCA cables, your Xbox 360, which that's what I use, so I'm just showing that it works the same for Wii, PS2, PS3, GameCube, Xbox, Wii, anything you can imagine that plays games. Um, and you have to have your external capturing device if you're using an internal. Then uh, I guess just follow the same steps, I guess. Um, so now I'm just going to show you what you have to do first. Is you're also gonna need some splitters. Mine are called Y splitters. That's just what they are. There's um one female or two two female plugins, one male plugin, and you basically um you're gonna plug these into the back of your TV. So what you wanna do is connect, um, basically color coordinate or whatever coordinate. You have to plug like for example, if I'm gonna do these, this uh splitter. I'm gonna do this the video ones. You just simply so I do this. Um, plug the video into the video there. Plug the video into the video here. If you can, if you're holding a camera and this. Huh. Alright, there now you have the video signal split. It's split from the Xbox up to TV, and then back to your uh, RC or RCA cables that run then to your capture card, which I'll show you how it goes up in a second. And now, basically, just hook your audio. I do preferably left audio, just because that's the only. Uh, I don't have right audio on my TV. Um, I only have left, so I don't even have right speaker inside my TV. So plug left audio in for me. That's what I do. If you want to do right audio and you can, go ahead. But I don't see why you're gonna need splitters. Splitters are just so. If you don't have outputs on the back of your TV, then you have to use splitters. But if you do, then you just plug the Xbox cables into the back of your TV and the inputs, and the splitter and the uh, RC RC cables into the outputs, and just plug them in your capture card, and they'll be ready. And uh, splitters, if you need them, I got mine at Radio Shack, three or four bucks a pop. I only need two, obviously, just because um, I only have left audio on my TV, but I bought a third one just so when I play on another TV. It happens to not have outputs, but has right audio. So now that you have that plugged in, plug left audio in. Like I said, just color coordinate basically, which you can't really say for that, but for these you can. So, so now we have them all correctly split. We have video split, or we have the video split from, like I said, the Xbox up to the TV cord, or up to the TV in connection, and then back down to the capture card. Then you have from the Xbox up to the TV down to the capture card. So now that you have those, you're just going to plug you plug these into the video input in the back of your TV. And these into the audio input. And once you have that, plug the RC or RCA cables into your capture card. This is only like, this is actually a short cord. I don't know why it looks so long right now. Um, so there's my left audio right there. It's kind of hard to hold the camera. Shoot. Uh, okay, now plug your video. Where's my video cord? Oh, here it is. It's a long cord. It's a double size. Okay. Plug this into your video input. 
I mean, see it says video on it. So you'll know. And like I said, if you don't need the Y or if you don't need the Y splitters, which I bought bought at Radio Shack four bucks a pop, I think. Um, then you don't need those, and you can just use outputs. But you might not have outputs in the back of your TV. You just look on the back of the TV, and it should say if you have outputs or not. So now you have that plugged in. Then you have the USB cord that runs from there to this. Plug this into the USB port in your computer. Um, and plug the Xbox cables or the Xbox, uh, I forget what it's called. Um, plug this into the back of your Xbox and then plug this into your computer once the cords are hooked up like this. And now I'll show you how to do it on the computer really quick. So now you're on the Studio 10, you've installed the disc. You can install the bonus disc if you want if you got platinum version. Uh, so now you have like you have to, these are the tabs, like I said, they're really easy. Capture, edit, make movie. To capture, you just go to your capture device, and I'll turn my Xbox on right now. It's not currently on, but I'll turn it on just so you get an example of what will happen. Um, like if your USB cord is not plugged in, it won't work right now. Go to capture source, dazzle DVC 170, and actually my Xbox just started up. But if you are recording and your Xbox is not on, then it might just say, please check your signal, there's no valid signal cable, or something like that, or it might just be blue, because if I turn off my Xbox right now, while this is up, it'll, the screen should just turn blue, so, yeah, not a lot of hard drive space there. Um, so once you have that, you'll see on here everything, you'll be able to watch you play, you'll just start capture whatever, and then I've already recorded some, so recorded this right here just excuse that, that was from another video just recorded over on accident um so you just drag this onto the timeline then once you're done whatever you, what you wanted to do you can split the clip you can combine clips you can when i used to use this a lot i would do title over like i'd put bsp and i just select whatever font i wanted or, or not font but whatever uh, i wanted it to look like or whatever I'm looking at it right now though, and then once I was done, I'd just go to make movie, I'd select the file size I want, I'd select the preset, and then I'd be done, I'd make, create file, I'd name it, and I'd upload it to YouTube. So that's about all you have to do, and I'm going to show you some problems you might have when you run across this setup problem, if you ever have it. Um, if it's not plugged in, if your dazzle is not plugged in, or if you plug it in after you select the capture tab, you're going to have to go, if it, after the capture tab loads up and everything, you're going to have to go back into capture or you're gonna have to go to uh set up capture source and then you're gonna have to select the dazzle dvc 170 there might be two of them just see which one works and then once you've done that it should pop up saying this if you have any problems at all feel free to message me or comment below and uh, i hope this helped and i hope to see some of your videos on youtube from your games if you happen to do this and this helps you out feel free to post your video response of something you recorded and i'll definitely accept it as long as it's okay so thanks for watching I hope this helped. please subscribe and uh have a good day